And good morning and welcome to Prescott, Arizona and the Prescott Veterans Day Parade, the annual Veterans Day Parade. I'm Marty Myers along with Peter Iano. Peter, thanks for being with us. We have Peter again joining us for the parade broadcast and we're broadcasting on KYCA.info on KYCA's Facebook page. We're also broadcasting live on the City of Prescott website and the City of Prescott Facebook page. And we want to tell you that today's sponsors for the parade and all through the Christmas season. Yeah, we've got Yavapai County Food Bank. Yavapai Exceptional Industries. Greenlee Designer Surfaces. Pralines of Prescott. Spirit West Certified Planning. And the parade also brought to you by Roxy Web Financial. And Prescott True Value. Lamerson's Jewelry. Blind Brothers of Arizona and Weikert Realtors CLA. And we thank you for joining us for the parade. We're getting ready to start the ceremony for the parade, which uh, precedes the parade. Starts here in just a few seconds. And we'll go live to that now. City of Prescott Veterans Day Parade. And I would like to start off by saying that this parade is the largest parade, Veterans Day parade, in the state of Arizona. We have over 115 entries this year. Phoenix had 93. This parade is brought to you by the city of Prescott, the Northern Arizona VA Healthcare System, APS, and various other community sponsors. As we do every year on this day, we gather to pay honor and tribute to the brave men and women who selfishly served our nation in its armed forces. While we celebrate all veterans, each year we select a special group of veterans to highlight. This year, we have chosen to honor our Desert Storm, Operation Iraqi Freedom, and Operation Enduring Freedom veterans as a new generation of warriors. Like those before them, these brave men and women have fought on foreign soil in the Middle East, fighting an increased presence of global terrorism that for many still continue to fight for inner peace and mental health relief. I would like to take a moment to recognize a distinguished guest in the seating area across from us. Colonel Davis, if you could please rise and step forward. <laughs> Colonel Davis is the commanding officer of the ROTC Air Force cadets that have been pulling the 24 hour guard on the Veterans Memorial on the west side of the Yavapai County Courthouse Plaza. I was informed yesterday that these cadets entered a competition that involves all ROTC high school and college that is held at the Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs and Detachment 028 from Embry-Riddle here in Prescott, Arizona, Air Force ROTC is the national champion. Congratulations, sir. You should be very proud. At this time, it is my distinguished pleasure to introduce to you our Master of Ceremonies for today. Mr. Stan Goligoski. Stan is a lifelong Prescott resident current vice chair of the Prescott Unified School District Governing Board and U.S. Army veteran with rotations in Iraq and Afghanistan. Stan has served as an instructor at the U.S. Military Academy at West Point, as aide de camp to the 101st Airborne Division Commanding General, and as former executive director of the Yavapai County Superintendent of Schools. Stan also served with me, another veteran, on the Mayor's Commission of Veteran Initiatives. Please welcome Mr. Stan Goligoski. Thanks, Michelle, for those kind words. We're gonna raise this. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I ask that you all stand 
and remove your hats for the posting of the national colors, the Pledge of Allegiance, and the singing of our national anthem. Presenting our colors today are the Fort Whipple Territory Troopers. The Fort Whipple Territory Troopers represent the 8th Infantry of the United States Army that were stationed at the operating outpost of Fort Whipple during the Apache Wars of 1874 through the 1880s. Territory Troopers, please post the colors. To lead us in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance is the United States Army veteran, Mr. Patrick Kirkendall. Pat served in the Army and Army Reserves for 18 years and deployed during Desert Storm. Pat also serves as Chairman of the City of Prescott Mayor's Commission on Veterans Initiatives. Good morning. And before we say the Pledge of Allegiance, I think I can speak on behalf of all of our veterans. We need to thank our first responders because none of us would have left our great country here if our families were not safe and, and sound. So to all of our first responders, thanks for your support for all of us veterans. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. And now please join us in the singing of our national anthem sung today by Prescott native, Miss Anna Nava. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket red glare the bombs bursting still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave or the
Thank you. You may be seated. At this time, it's my pleasure to introduce to you the mayor of the city of Prescott and Vietnam veteran, Mr. Phil Good, for his opening remarks. <laughs> mayor Good served with the 101st Airborne Division and received the Bronze Star, Air Medal, Combat Infantry Badge, Vietnam Cross for Gallantry with Palm, and the Vietnam Campaign Medal with two Bronze Stars. Welcome, Mayor Good. Well, I'm not as tall as Stan, but I'm taller than Anna. <laughs> Wasn't that a wonderful rendition of our national anthem? <laughs> to do that a cappella uh, is just remarkable, but then I think that just reflects uh, this remarkable city that we have. Um, as, I, as Stan said, I am a U.S. Army Vietnam combat veteran, and it's uh, with great pride that I address you this morning. I'd like to start by recognizing all of the many veterans that we have in attendance today. Uh, you may be aware that the city of Prescott is arguably one of the highest percentage of veterans of any city in the United States. So if you are a veteran and you can stand or uh, wave your hand, do that right now and then look around and see how many veterans that we have in attendance. <laughs> Thank you sincerely for your service to our nation. Veterans Day originated as Armistice Day in 1918 which celebrated the end of the war to end all wars, World War I. Unfortunately, unfortunately, that label turned out to be far from true. A generation later, in 1941, we experienced World War II, and then just five years later, the Korean War began. Then the Vietnam War followed and lasted nearly 20 years. The Gulf War, began in Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, and Iraq in 1990, and then shortly thereafter 9-11 occurred with a global war on terrorism soon following, primarily enveloping Iraq and Afghanistan and lasting for nearly 20 years as well. It's certainly clear that nearly every generation finds itself engaged in military conflicts whenever nations impose or choose to impose their will on other peoples of the world that they perceive as weak and vulnerable. Our nation and our allies can only maintain peace by being strong and capable of applying that strength. Today we celebrate our many veterans that have endured and sacrificed to achieve and maintain peace. But eternal vigilance and a new generation's willingness to sacrifice some of their comforts and time to make sure our future is equally protected is essential. Also today, we're recognizing and honoring a new generation of veterans who have recently made such sacrifices. These brave men and women volunteered to put themselves in harm's way for all of us. Specifically today, we honor the Gulf War veterans from Desert Storm and the Iraq War veterans from Operations Iraqi Freedom and Enduring Freedom. I know we have some of this new generation of veteran warriors here today. Would you please stand and be recognized, wave your hands so that we can see this new generation of veterans. I want to thank you again for attending, enjoying the uh, biggest and best Veterans Day parade in all of Arizona. And why is that? It's because this city truly appreciates veterans. They honor them, and we acknowledge them sincerely. And that's uh, so important to all of our veterans who have served. And I think that makes us such an attractive place to live and to reside 
and I couldn't be prouder to be the mayor of this great city. So thank you all and enjoy the parade. Thank you, Mayor. Our next speaker is Mr. Steve Sample, Executive Director for the Northern Arizona Veterans Administration Healthcare System. Mr. Sample is a 23-year veteran of the United States Air Force. He flew combat missions during Operation Desert Storm and is a graduate of the Air War College and Air Command and Staff College. Colonel Sample. All right, thank you. Thank you for that generous and kind introduction. Good morning and welcome to today's ceremony. Before I begin, let me also acknowledge with us today Congressman Eli Crane uh, and Mayor Phil Good. But most importantly, all of our veterans in attendance today. This day is about you, what you have done for our nation and how well you did it. So welcome, and welcome to your families and friends as well. Our nation's veterans, men and women who have worn our country's uniform, fought and served to make our freedoms the way of life possible. And for that, we have an obligation to them. It is our job our responsibility to serve veterans, their families, caregivers, survivors, as they, as well as they have served us, as well as they have served our country, not just on Veterans Day, but every day. We often thank our veterans for their service, which we should do each and every day, but on behalf of your Northern Arizona VA, and as an Air Force veteran myself, I want to thank you, the Prescott community, for your continued support of veterans and our military. Today we remember all veterans. They donned their uniforms and laid their lives on the line for each of us to allow us to have the opportunity to enjoy the blessings of freedom. Soldiers, sailors, airmen, marine, coast guardsmen who stepped forward and answered the call of arms. Today is certainly a special day for us in the Department of Veteran Affairs. Our nearly 1,500 employees at our Northern Arizona VA are dedicated to the care and well being of the men and women who have served our great nation. Our staff is here for you whether it's for enrollment, eligibility, new federal benefits from the PACT Act, it's worth a phone call or just stop by. As a matter of fact, close to a third of my staff here at the VA are veterans themselves. The theme for this year's parade is honoring our Desert Storm and Iraqi Freedom Operation Enduring Freedom Veterans, a new generation of warriors. This is important to us as this generation now makes up the largest number of living veterans in the US. We want to ensure we meet the healthcare needs of the modern warrior by providing the services they both require and deserve. Veterans Day is about remembering and recognizing the service, sacrifices and selflessness of our nation's veterans. By fighting our nation's wars and defending all of us during periods of peace between wars, veterans have protected our way of life and the freedom we all enjoy. To our veterans in attendance today, thank you. Thank you for your service. It is a privilege to serve as your VA Medical Center Director. Again, thank you to our wonderful Prescott community for our coming out here today to show your support for our nation's veterans. And may God bless all veterans, their families, caregivers, and survivors, and may he continue to bless our great country. Thank you, sir. It's truly an honor to introduce our keynote speaker of the day. Born and raised in Arizona, Eli Crane has the privilege of serving as the U.S. Representative for Arizona's 2nd Congressional District. 
A week after the September 11th attacks, Representative Crane left college during his senior year at the University of Arizona to enlist in the United States Navy. During his 13 years in military service, he participated in five wartime deployments, serving three with SEAL Team 3. In 2012, Representative Crane and his wife, Jen, co-founded a veteran-owned and operated small business that manufactures bottle openers made from a shell casing. A venture, a venture that started in their garage, the business eventually grew to employ dozens and led to a successfully negotiated deal that was, na that was televised nationally. They sold the company in 2022. Eli and Jen live in Arizona with their two daughters, Mackenzie and Kennedy. Thank you guys for coming out today. It's an honor to be here. I promise to keep it short. I know you guys like hearing uh, politicians talk about as much as I do. Um, my staff told me, they, they said, hey, if you can make it up those stairs without tripping and falling, you're off to a great start. So <laughs> let's go, Brandon, baby. Um, of all the, my district is the largest district in Arizona. It's bigger than the state of Georgia, and uh, because of what the, the welcoming and the patriotism and the hospitality that Prescott has always shown us, we decided to be here with you guys today. We love this community. We love our veterans, um, and I'm just so grateful to be a part of this proud fraternity, and I hope that the next generations continue to step up and step up and step up to serve because evil does con evil does and will continue to triumph unless good men and women step up. It's one of the reasons I took the took the fight to Washington D.C. Um, I can tell you I'm not the most popular guy in Washington D.C., but that's that's quite all right with me. I love you guys. Um, we've been in D.C. for seven weeks in a row now. Uh, it's been brutal. Um, I'm going back on Monday morning, and then we'll get one week back in Arizona. Um, but it's an honor to be up there serving and representing on your behalf. We try really hard to uh, listen to you guys and represent you well. And you'll, you won't be surprised to hear that often what you're telling us is, uh, and what you want is in complete opposition to what the uh, shareholders and the elites in D.C. want. Yeah, we tend to side with you guys. So um, I am on the uh, Veterans Affairs Committee. We have brought the chairman of Veterans Affairs um, out here already. Uh, we will continue to work on veteran issues and every other issue that is impacting your life. Um, I hope you guys like the new speaker, Speaker Mike Johnson, that we were able to get for you. He's got a tough road ahead, I'll be honest. We don't have a very conservative conference at all, but one of the cool things about the veteran issue is it's one of the few areas that both Democrats and Republicans unite around, and that does give me a little hope uh, because there's not much that we uh, are able to unite on anymore. But God bless you guys. I'm about to go jump in a Jeep and uh, drive this parade route. I'll be throwing candy out, at least the candy that I don't eat myself. Um, but God bless you. I appreciate the opportunity to be here. Thank you. Thanks, Eli. And thanks for continuing to fight for our country. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our opening ceremony for the 2023 Veterans Day Parade. I'd like to take this time to thank our sponsors of the parade, APS, Fan Contracting, Summit 4x4 Company, Safeway, the Northern Arizona VA Healthcare System, and the City of Prescott. It's been an honor to serve as your Master of Ceremonies, and I hope that you enjoy the parade. It will begin shortly. Okay, and welcome back to our broadcast here at 
The Veterans Day Parade, the 2023 Veterans Day Parade, live from Prescott, Arizona. We're glad you're with us. Uh, we just concluded the uh, opening ceremony for the Veterans Day Parade. Myself, oh, man, Marty Myers, there, and Peter Ionone. Peter Ionone is with me today with us, and we're going to start our parade here about 11 o'clock, so we're going to take a short little break. We'd like to tell you who's sponsoring the parade broadcast today. Our KYCA sponsors include Yavapai County Food Bank. And Yavapai Exceptional Industries. And Greenlee Design Surfaces. Pralines of Prescott. Spirit West oh, Certified door. Planning. Roxy Web Financial. Also sponsored by Prescott True Value. Lamerson oh. Jewelry. Turn it on. Blind hey, Brothers Arizona. CLA. All right, that's a great one. Thank you to those sponsors. They'll be sponsoring us all the way through the holiday season, which is wonderful. And again, we're going to start the parade here right at about 11 o'clock. And our uh, temperature right now okay. here in Presque, you can see everybody in the crowd is kind of bundled up. It's uh, still in the upper 50s right now. We're looking to hit 63 degrees for a high in Prescott today. A wonderful day to have this Veterans Day parade here in Prescott. And by the way, this is the largest Veterans Day parade in Arizona with over uh, near 120 entrants this year. And as uh, by comparison, down in Phoenix, they had about 90 what, something. Yeah, not, not enough. Not so many. So uh, really a great supportive community of our veterans. It's an honor to broadcast this Veterans Day parade Absolutely. to you all. We thank you for joining us. And again, we'll start the parade here at about 11 o'clock. And welcome to the 2023 Veterans Day Parade live from Prescott, Arizona. I'm Marty Myers. And I'm Peter Ayano. And thank you, Peter, for being with us today. We're happy to bring you the Veterans Day Parade here in Prescott, Arizona. About 58 degrees right now as we start the parade. This year's parade is led by four of Prescott Police Department's finest, three of whom who are veterans. Sergeant Nathan Bardo, United States Army, Sergeant Mark Parker, United States Air Force, and Officer Daniel Barton, United States Marines. Thank you for your service to the nation and continued service to the city of Prescott. Okay, you can see him there well, on the screen. Good looking bikes too. It's not like the Harleys of the old days, is it? That's a BMW. And right behind them is the American Legion Post. All right. And so you can see the policemen here on the motorcycles. They uh, are ready to go. Their primary duty and we are going to have them be followed up by the American Legion Post 6. This uh, award-winning group has been serving North Central Arizona for more than 28 years. Their primary duty is to provide military honors for dis uh, deceased veterans. In that time, they have served more than 5,000 veterans. They have provided a military presence at fundraisers and rallies for many community groups. Marching with the honor guard and carrying the flags for all military branches is Boy Scout Troop 7007. All right. You can see a beautiful day, a beautiful crowd here in historic downtown Prescott, right across from the Yavapai County Courthouse Plaza on the plaza. And we have next our entry number two, Boy Scout Troop 7007 and American Legion Riders. Steeped in service and outdoor adventure, Troop 7007 is the largest troop in northern Arizona. Since its beginning, Troop has had 59 scouts achieve the prestigious rank of Eagle Scout. Impressive. Ex absolutely. Okay. And then carrying the largest flag, yeah, like, yeah largest flag I've seen here is uh, Prescott High School Air Force ROTC. They strive to build this better citizens. Impressive. The cadets perform over 5,000 community impressive. service hours each year. In 2023, they received their 16th consecutive and Distinguished you know what, Unit Award the from the Air Force. They are the recognized as one of the top units in the country. Very good. Here are people that are stepping up. To That's right. Look at the size of this flag. Carrying the American flag. Wow. Again, the Prescott High School Air Force Junior ROTC members. And with the wind, a little bit of wind here today, so that's not the easiest job in the world, it looks like, but they're doing a fine job. Okay, and our next entrant is number four, Lamb Chevrolet Cadillac. 
and they're proud to honor the veterans of each branch of the U.S. military as well as the POW and MIA. Carrying their 30 by 50 American flag is the Prescott High School Air Force Junior ROTC, Lamb which Chevrolet we saw just go by. And again, Lamb military, Chevrolet and as well as Cadillac. POW, MIA. Carrying their 30 by 50 American flag is the Prescott High School Air Force. And of course, ROTC. you can see the uh, um, on the parade route, as we look down the parade route, you can see these vehicles coming up. And they're all in white, and they're all filled up. It looks like we have some Chevrolet Silverados. Yep. A whole fleet of them, looks like. Good-looking trucks. Sure are. Hi, how are you? And we have, we have our judges. By the way, we're located just to the right of the stage here, stage right, uh, on the street, right here on the street on the parade route. And we have the judges up on the stage, as well as the uh, announcers for the parade, the street announcers. Of course, we're doing the uh, broadcast announcing here, so you might want to hear, you might hear them behind us. And uh, we'll just kind of go with that, and we'll give you the announcements as they come along and all the different entrants. And you can see Lab Chevrolet has a, gosh, there's a nice fleet of trucks, probably about eight or ten of them. A lot of Silverados. Sure enough. And again, it's uh, definitely fall here. We have some breezes, uh, 58 degrees at uh, parade time. You can see um, the trees are losing their leaves. It is definitely and fall. Up, and uh, if you're number, tuning in from somewhere other than an area that has fall, kind of like in Phoenix, Arizona, uh, it is definitely fall here, and we're enjoying it very much. Honor and remember acknowledges the sacrifices of men and women in the United States Armed Forces. All right, here's our grand marshal for the event. It's, uh, Today we honor those who are going to honor and remember and acknowledge the sacrifice of the men and women in the United States Armed Forces who have given their lives for their country. Today we honor those who not only lost their lives during Desert Today's Storm in Iraq and Afghanistan, but also those who served in conflicts and are no longer with us. Today, the flag is carried in honor of Army Sergeant or Army Staff Sergeants Travis Selinski, uh, 2017, and Brendan Selinski, 2018, both of whom served in Iraq or Afghanistan. And we honor their service for sure. All right. Post six. Right now, more it's American Legion writers Ernest A. Love, Post 6. More than 2,200 American, American Legion writer chapters organized by American yeah. Legion Post and departments American worldwide. American They're actively support, supporting American Legion programs in every state and several countries overseas. The local Prescott chapter was established in 2012, and in that time, its members have raised more than $68,000. And the funds are used in veteran services service and community causes and look for uh, it, uh, these guys out in traffic uh, valuable members of the veterans community and for those of you new to the community you hear Ernest A. Love uh, thrown around especially around our airport and uh, he was a World War One pilot that lost his life very early on uh, in his early 20s uh, not unlike Frank Luke who Luke Air Force Base is named after Right, and also they have uh, recently put a bronze statue of Ernest A. Love, I believe, oh, out at the airport. I have not seen that yet. I'll have to check it out. The Alliance of Therapy All right. Dogs serving Next up, Yavapai we have the Alliance County. of Therapy these Dogs serving Yavapai County. And these dogs come in all sizes. Program. They work with the kids in visit reading programs within our community, visit your loved ones in a convalescent care and adult day care, and also they uh, check on the juvenile detention center too. To all these dogs passed dogs. rigorous they testing to be a certified therapy dog. They all bring love and joy to the Quad City residents who benefit and enjoy our tail wagging friends. All right, a bunch of nice looking dogs there. <laughs> all decked out too. I could never get my dog <laughs> to wear any kind of garb upon them. My dogs would never do that. They yeah, never better like that. taste and fashion than I do. <laughs> well, I wasn't going to say anything, Pete, but you know. <laughs> okay, and then we have our next entrant. This is the first entry for Arizona Public Service. The anthem that came to define Operation, Operation Desert Storm and inspired our new generation of warriors was God Bless the USA. So from your friends at APS, know that they stand with you. The proclamation will be read by Yavapai County Justice of the Peace, Mr. Mitch Padilla. Mitch nope. retired after 21 years in a career in the United States Navy as a Chief Petty Officer. This is our ceremony at 11-11. Good morning, my 
and fellow American patriots. In November of 1919, President Wilson proclaimed November 11th as the first commemoration of Armistice Day with the following words, to us in America, the reflections of Armistice Day will be filled with solemn pride in the heroism of those who died in the country's service and with gratitude for the victory, both because of the thing from which it has freed us and because of the opportunity it has given America to show her sympathy with peace and justice in the councils of nations. The original concept for the celebration was for a day observed with parades and public meetings and a brief suspension of business beginning at 11 a.m. The United States Congress officially recognized the end of World War I when it passed a concurrent resolution on June 4, 1926, with these words, whereas the 11th of November, 1918, marked the cessation of the most destructive, sanguinary, and far-reaching war in human annals, and the resumption by the people of the United States of peaceful relations with other nations, which we hope may never again be severed. And, whereas it is fitting that the recurring anniversary of this date should be commemorated with thanksgiving and prayer and exercises designed to perpetuate peace through goodwill and mutual understanding between nations. And, whereas the legislatures of 27 of our states have already declared November 11 to be a legal holiday, therefore, it be it resolved by the Senate, along with the House of Representatives concurring that the President of the United States is requested to issue a proclamation calling upon the officials to display the flag of the United States on all government buildings on November 11, and inviting the people of the United States to observe the day in schools and churches or other suitable places with appropriate ceremonies of friendly relations with all other Okay, and that was the uh, little service we did here for the 11th you know, the minute of the 11th hour, the 11th day of the 11th month. Yes, that's what we do that every year. And I don't know if that was by design or by coincidence, but at 11-11, one of the Cessna 182s from my Civil Air Patrol squadron flew overhead uh, just as we had stopped and took that pause. So that was probably well-timed, sounds like. I was going to say. All right. Okay, and here again, we're going to go ahead and let you know who our entry number eight is. You can see there. It's Arizona Public Service Company, and uh, they are telling us that the anthem uh, came to define Operation Desert Storm and inspired our new generation of warriors was God Bless the USA. And from your friends at APS, know they that they stand with you. God bless our veterans, their families, and God bless the USA. That's again from APS. So APS has no electricity. <laughs> well, you can see here that they have a nice... Uh, little float going on with Operation Desert Shield, Desert Storm. Very well uh, camouflaged. Our, yeah, all camouflaged from Iraq. And uh, hey, hey, there's some hay in there. <laughs> See that? Yeah. So, um, yeah, but that's nice. The uh, Arizona Public Service plug into a clean energy future. Testing. Okay. And, and I'm proud to be an American where I lived, I know I'm free. And I won't forget the man who died, who gave that right to me. I gladly stand up next to you and friend her still today. Cause there ain't no doubt I love this land. God bless the you. All right, a little impromptu singing from nice. the uh, people on the float who are going to be having that song playing, I believe, uh, coming out of their float. Thank but uh, since it wasn't in operation, they uh, decided to do an impromptu I singing. I better without music. 
<laughs> and of course, that was uh, Lee Greenwood. God bless the USA. Yes. Coming down the street, it's the APS now Eagle. we've got our you know second entry from APS, and, uh, and you know, I just saw a huge flag. Now I've seen a huge American eagle. Wow, US look at that! Yeah, was chosen as our national symbol in 1782 because it represents APS strength, courage, and freedom, and is the only eagle native to North America. Every year, APS enters the bald eagle in the Prescott Veterans Day Parade as it symbolizes our heartfelt gratitude to our veterans, to those who have served their country with strength and courage in the name of freedom, here. for the new generations of warriors. Today, the Eagle honors the courage and sacrifice of our Desert Storm and Operation Iraqi Freedom Operations Enduring Freedom Veterans. That is a large, large eagle. That's got to stand about, oh, I don't know, 16, 18 feet tall. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and this is our next entry, number 10. This is the United States Veterans Initiative, U.S. Vets Prescott. Since opening in 2003, they've served over 8,600 veterans. They're excited to announce they'll be expanding their critical services to Fort Whipple VA campus. In September, they opened the Veteran Connection Hub next door to the Hacienda Inn, offering any veteran a place to come and enjoy socializing with other veterans, receive needed services, and to just relax. They'll be having an open house at the hub today. It's located at 120 North Marina Street, Suite B, in Prescott. Again, next to the Hacienda Inn. So that's pretty nice. Offering any veteran a place to come and enjoy. Okay, so you can see that uh, with other veterans. they've got a lot of people representing the veterans. Uh, hospital up here is just they incredible in the way they take care of all the veterans today, in the community. Located at 120 North Marina you can see their big Street, van there. In Prescott, and that's right and they're followed by a number of other in. veterans' vehicles. More housing for veterans. I mean, we have we have this. Uh, and again, we're honored here to bring you the uh, parade here on KYCA, the news, 1490 and 103.5. All right, next up we have the Arizona Rough Riders Historical Association. They're a group of living historic reenactors who portray the period of 1898 during the Spanish-American War and Bucky O'Neill. All right, way to go. I like the Rough Riders. I love their garb. <laughs> Check that out. That's awesome. There, and then uh, you can see they have a vehicle here, and it's coming by, and they've got this nice banner on it. You'll see it momentarily. We want to tell you that uh, today's parade is sponsored by Yavapai County Food Bank. And Yavapai Exceptional Industries. All right. So we thank them for being sponsors. They're going to be sponsoring us along with other sponsors throughout the entire Christmas season with all of our different parades and whatnot. Okay. And this next entrant is Kara Wood for Yavapai County. She says, our children are our future. Educating our children to help Prescott grow while keeping its rich history and culture is essential. Kara is running for Yavapai County School Superintendent on academic excellence for all students and promoting parental rights, which is very important, of course, these days. There goes Kara Woods. All right, now we have the Northern Arizona Chapter Fort Military Arizona Officers Arizona Association, Chapter, military and they're comprised of active duty, retired, of and former duty, officers of the eight uniformed services the nationally. Services. They are leading nationally, the, they are the leading organization, organization to lobby for compensation, for compensation, for compensation and benefits community. for the military community. And it looks like there's a few vehicles here involved. Major yeah, Adam so Gray, in recognition, uh, we have two, Vehicle Cadet 1 Major of Bruce Cadet Reynolds Major Adam, Adam Gray. Okay, and then you can see that vehicle going by there now. And now the next one is Vehicle 2, Cadet Major Bruce Reynolds and Cadet First Lieutenant James DeMonte, listed in the U.S. Navy. And then I think we saw Vehicle 3 at some point. that's it going by right there. Cadet Second Lieutenant Cash Reed. So they're giving waves to everybody on the parade route. And next up, we can see them meandering down the parade route. It's the Yavapai Sky Girl Scouts. The Yavapai Sky Girl Scouts, they want to thank our local veterans and their families for their service today and always your sacrifices and all you've done for our country. People are really appreciative of the veterans uh, here in Arizona, especially here in the Prescott area. Yavapai Sky Neighborhood Girl Scouts. And for good reason. That's right. And you can see they're carrying the American flag. And it uh, looks like the Girl Scouts flag, too. I'm not really familiar with that one, but there they are in their... 
Uh, they got brownies. They got regular Girl Scouts. <laughs> All sizes. That's awesome. And thank you to the parents who uh, support it. the Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts. Yes, yes, yes. That, uh, that's a big thing in the community. And kids really remember a lot of that growing up. I was in the uh, Cub Scouts. Oh, my gosh. How about you, Pete? I was in the Civil Air Patrol. I never did Scouts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. And speaking of Scouts, we have some more Scout Troops. Right. 7006 and 7106 in Cub Scouts Pack 6. All right. You can see them marching up the street there. They're proudly carrying their banner also. And they're all decked out in their Cub Scouts and Boy Scouts garb. And they're sponsored by American Lutheran Church. Today is a great day to be a scout, they say, and they want to thank all of our veterans. All right. We thank them, too, for being in the parade. It's fantastic. Okay, here is our next entrance. It's St. Luke's Scout Troop and, and Pac-10. So for 75 years, St. Luke's Episcopal Church has sponsored scouting for Prescott youth. All year round, they're camping, hiking, learning new skills, getting to be with their friends. You can stop by St. Luke's any Tuesday evening at 6.30 where you can find more information. And they're just north of the Prescott Airport off of Ruger Road. Another proud group marching in the 2023 Veterans Day Parade. And here's another group we definitely don't want to forget. We've got the Granite Mountain Intermountain Agency Hot Shot Crew Learning and Tribute Center. And for those of you who have been here for a while, you will remember these folks well. Earlier this year, they marked the 10th anniversary of the tragedy when 19 members of the Granite Mountain Hot Shots lost their lives battling the Yarnell Hill Fire. They have a Wildland wild Fire wild Learning Center honoring the legacy of the 19 members of the Granite Mountain Hot Shots by educating and inspiring visitors about wildland firefighting in general. All right, there they go. Okay, and it's it looks like our next entrant, entrance, it looks like it's yes. uh, City of Prescott, proud sponsor. Of Extraordinary Employer Support Award they've won for the ESGR. They are uh, proudly supports several active National Guard and Reserve personnel as well as exceptional number of veterans. You see uh, the mayor's up on the fire truck. There he is, look at him. Yeah, engine number one. All right. Staple of every parade. That's for sure. Now they are everybody's hometown, Prescott is, and they're forever grateful to the employees who are in the service and the veterans for their service Steve to country and community. Again, so thank you for your service, Steve. Thank you, Steve. Ah, look at that wildland engine. Department. Beautiful truck. Wow, that is one shiny truck, isn't it? They keep those things immaculate. Makes me feel bad with my dirty Kia. <laughs> <laughs> what year is that, Pete? Oh, never mind. <laughs> hey, Pete, here's one of your favorite. Yeah, boots. this is more my speed. This is the Mile High Tractor and Engine Club sitting on some John Deere's here. Look at that green John Deere. Yeah. This was started over 25 years ago to promote antique farm equipment and a resource for antique tractor enthusiasts. They support our community providing uh, college scholarships, local FFA programs in agriculture. They sponsor tractor pools, wagon, and tractor rides while always supporting our veterans. Many of their members are actually veterans. All right. You know, it's all different kinds of tractors, too. Yeah. Too fast, too furious, and then have to get on that. John Deere's, the uh, farm alls. Is that what they call a Tokyo Drift? I, I think? don't know yet. I can't <laughs> <laughs> He's cutting some kitties out there in the middle of the street. Sure looks like fun, and it do, they do smell like tractors, don't they? They do. Oh, They're exhausted. Love to smell a diesel in the morning. It smells so like victory. you're not doing that? <laughs> Hey, look, Mom, no hands. <laughs> All right, there they go. And you know, uh, the International Harvesters, all his chalmers, Boy, look at all the different types of tractors you could ever want. Every farmer in the 1950s had one of those. Yes, sir. Hey, again, we thank you for tuning in to the 2023 Veterans Day Parade live here from Prescott, Arizona. And we want to tell you about our KYCA sponsors that bring you the broadcast of the parade, including Greenlee Designer Services and Pralines of Prescott. And we appreciate their sponsoring the 2023 uh, Veterans Day Parade. And here they come. There's my the, girls. There they are, the Shady Ladies. It's the Prescott Regulators and their Shady Ladies. Now, they're a nonprofit organization whose mission is to preserve history in Prescott in the state of Arizona. Their fundraising efforts are focused on a scholarship fund at Yavapai College for veterans and the families who attend. Now, many of their members are esteemed veterans of the U.S. Armed Forces, and they thank and honor our new generation of warriors 
And they say, God bless all of you. And there they are. Oh, hey, look out now. They're getting shady up there. I love my shady <laughs> ladies. They don't even need music. Oh, no. They're getting too bad. <laughs> shady. That's right. So then we have, uh, and, and I like the, the uh, street theme there, too, on their float. I like that. Looks just like, hey, get some ice cream there. Please. Oh, I guess it's not really real. Okay. All right. Well, hey, we appreciate them uh, joining us here in the parade. They're always a uh, proud entrance in the parade. We see them every single year. And now, what do you hear? What do you hear? I'm hearing something. I hear some bagpipes. I think I hear bagpipes. It's the Scottish American Military Society. And this is post-1297. They work to preserve and promote Scottish and American military customs, heritage, and history. It is primarily comprised of veterans from the United States and British Commonwealth nations who are of Scottish or Scots-Irish descent. Post-1297 is active in fundraising and other various programs and projects to support veterans yeah check that out and i don't know how they play those but they, it's like they're taking a breath at the wrong time but i think it fills <laughs> up the bag and then they just squeeze the yeah, bag it doesn't sync up i can never figure it out <laughs> scottish american military society the arizona highlanders yeah, that's a nice ride an old 1934 i believe it's pretty nice Post 1297 in Prescott providing that particular ride Boy, you got i think it's choice isn't it? it is that thing looks beautiful and they're still coming along here and they have a convertible you know there's always convertibles in parades Pete, no matter how cold it is <laughs> how windy it is if it's snowing raining they don't care they're in convertibles that's so you can see them i think yeah you know it is a little brisk and windy today but uh, hasn't deterred anybody from showing up we've got a huge crowd here at the avapai county courthouse square it's uh, brisk i think 58 degrees uh, not quite 60 yet so yeah leaves are starting to come down and it certainly is fall and you know the parade route runs clear around the courthouse plaza here okay and this is our next entrant it is the Disabled American Veterans Chapter 16 from Prescott. DAV Chapter 16 is a veteran service organization that has been a fixture in Yavapai County since 1950. November 11th is the day for recognizing those who have given themselves in service to our nation, our veterans, active, active duty service members, guardsmen, and reservists, dedicated to empowering veterans and their families to lead high quality lives with respect and dignity. Two very important things. Two thrifts stores, one at 400 West Gurley the and the other at 735th Street here in Prescott. That's right. The Disabled American Veterans. DAV, you recognize their logo there on the van? And again, that's chapter 16 here. All right, yeah, we heard him speak a little bit earlier today. It's Eli Crane, and he's uh, representing uh, Arizona's 2nd Congressional District, serving all of Yavapai County, including Prescott. You know, he's a 13-year veteran of the U.S. Navy and a former Navy SEAL. Representative Crane is a proud member of the U.S. House Committee on Veterans Affairs, and he's focused on fighting for our heroes who risk their lives for the safety and prosperity of our nation. He's an American First Congressional Representative who put his life on the line to protect and defend our country he continues to battle for Arizona by protecting the rights in the U.S. House and of Representatives. James Eli Crane, District a. 2. Is driving the US All right. Army now we've got the Inland Empire Military Europe. Vehicle Preservation wow, Associates. Awesome. Check that out great? that Jeep and trailer. Wow. Really nice. They really restored that well. James A. Greenall is driving a U.S. Army World War II ambulance that served in Europe. Its official designation was WC-54. It's a three-quarter ton ambulance manufactured by Dodge in 1944. 1944, that's a long time ago. That was a good year. Okay, and we got the Daughters of the American Revolution, the Yavapai chapter. They're a service organization and focused on historic preservation, unbiased educational initiatives, and nonpartisan uh, patriotic service such as supporting and active duty military personnel and veterans. So there they go. They're marching happily in the uh, 2023 Veterans Day Parade. And here is the other chapter of the Daughters of the American Revolution. Yeah, Pete. this is the General George Cook chapter, and their motto is God, Country, and Home. They were founded in 1890 and have been serving in Prescott since Daughters 1927 with a General mission to promote education, George historic Cook preservation, chapter. and patriotism. Please visit dar.org for more information. Okay, and our next, and well, I guess the, still more of them coming. Yeah, they're still walking. Now, see, these folks driving by, they're not in a convertible, but they're 
are still happily in the parade. It's a nice hybrid ride, though. Yes. More information. And you know, there's not just daughters of the American Re Revolution, <clears throat> they're sons of the American Revolution. So here they come, man. You can see the sons of the American Revolution, this area group of men who have traced their ancestors back to the founding of our country. They go around visiting schools and they share with children the story of our country's beginning, which they need to have for sure. And they support veterans by visiting VA hospitals and helping them research their ancestors. That's kind of neat. And then they support the junior uh, ROTC and the ROTC and the honor of the veterans who have stand to keep this country free. All right, and right in front of us now is the CW Lucas Forest Escort Camp Sons of Confederate Veterans. This is a nonprofit and fraternal organization made of men related to Confederate veterans of the Civil War who are dedicated in the preservation of the history of Confederate veterans and their contribution uh, and their contributions that made. Arizona, oh, the great state that it is today. I like that Buick GS just okay. went by. Isn't that nice? Sweet. You know, I wonder if that guy in the All right, and then we have, um, oh yeah, here's some more Confederates there. Check that out. There it went. Here they come, and there they are. You know, I w really wonder where they all got their, uh, their costumes there from. <laughs> the period costumes. Certainly. I bet uh, they're homemade. Well, I think if, if you had a rental business this time of year, oh, you're probably wow. doing pretty well. Yeah, I bet they make their oh. own. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's our next entry. It's the Polynesian Siva. Like this is a uh, fun group formed in Prescott, open to all who would like to learn uh, dance from the islands of Samoa, Tahiti, New Zealand, and Hawaii. And they take ages. 6 to 106, uh, so all are welcome. And they practice at the Check Elks Theater on Sundays and Wednesdays. Check out their Facebook page for info. That's the Polynesian that. Siva. That's nice. Yeah, now, um, I'm not sure that uh, belly dancing it would be uh, something a 106-year-old would do. But <laughs> they say 6 to 106 practices. You might, might break a hip. <laughs> I would think something would happen. It wouldn't be so good. But, um, no, that's a neat thing, though. Kind of a chilly day oh, and they got hula grass skirt on their uh, on their vehicle here. Well, you know, you wouldn't want to see its bumpers or its uh, fender or its uh, fenders, you know, its fender skirts. And be without <laughs> my coconut unders. <laughs> you can hear them you singing. Know, they're they're singing as they're going down the route. Oh, yeah. Community ran out of volunteers. We come to a grinding stop. And there goes Polynesian Siva. Okay. Members meet every Wednesday to socialize. Our next group is the, I, is the Prescott Lions, Noon Lions. Members meet every Wednesday to socialize and enlist member participation in various activities in Prescott and Yavapai County. They benefit local charities and organizations that service sight and hearing impaired local citizens. Some of their efforts include newspaper recycling, food booths, and cake breakfast, my favorite. Oh, right on. I love those, and other fun activities. Ah, uh, why'd you have to say that? Now I'm getting hungry. <laughs> well, should have ate before we came. I had a tic-tac. All right, this man. This is the citizens of Yavapai County serving the And this is still, yeah, still County. New Lions. Yep, Lions, New Lions Club, you can see they have, uh, their motto is that we serve. And then they have this huge mobile eye care yes. center. They take that around the community. And, uh, in fact, they do uh, glasses recycling, too. Yes, I know a lot of people important. get new glasses. What do you want to do with them? Take them right away. Oh, that's, that's, like the that's right. That RV, so the uh, mobile eye care go unit goes around to different places, and I do believe that they do eye checks and such. Yes. Yes, they do. They sure do. Sunrise Lions Club. And you know what, Marty? We are only one quarter well, of the way through the entrance so far. Right <laughs> well, we are. There's a near 120 oh, entrants this so year into the 2023 Veterans Day Parade. And by the way, we'd like to thank a couple of our sponsors of the parade here today. Yeah, we've got Spirit West Certified Planning. We thank them and also Roxy Webb Financial. Thank you all for supporting the broadcast of this year's parade. Roxy Webb, great friend of ours. All right, next up, we have the Prescott Antique Auto Club, which I cannot join with my 2017 Kia. <laughs> Celebrating over 50 years in Prescott, it's the oldest car club in Northern Arizona. They support the VA hospital as well as scholarships to local colleges. Presently, they have over 265 members and over 400 vehicles. And that's more than one vehicle per person. I was gonna say, that's not fair. No, yeah. if they wanna share their, uh, their cool cars, I would love to check them out. Now here's you know, some great looking cars. Beautiful and clean. It looks state of the art, doesn't it? Good job, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> All right, they're still going along here at Prescott Antique Auto Club. We've got many more vehicles. Look at old fire truck there. 
Yeah, it looks like we've got an Air Force veteran in this one. Nice. Going to serve 66 to 88. Thanks for serving there. I we appreciate it, all of our veterans, and we're honored to bring you the parade today. In the back seat, okay, he's got it. And here's a Navy guy in an old Chevy truck. He serves 68 to 99. This is a large contingency of cool classic vehicles, trucks, cars. Look at the grill on that 289 Galaxy. Yeah. Oh, We've got all those service branches represented in these Wait, old cars. That's fantastic. 52. Says it on there. Duh. <laughs> While we're watching these cool vehicles drive by, let's tell you some more about our KYCA sponsors for the 2023 Veterans Day Parade. We have Prescott True Value. Yeah, we want to thank Lamberson's Jewelry. We thank all of our wonderful sponsors. Oh, here's my first car, a VW Bug. Oh, well, Pete, that would be... I, I, that's kind of nicer than what you're driving now, I think. <laughs> I kind of wish I had it. <laughs> you know, those were fun. There's, they were very, very fun vehicles. Yeah, oh, air-cooled engines. That's right. Mine had a factory sunroof with a crank. Oh, wow. I like those ones. Did they have, like, uh, some the kind of a, fab top? a fabric yeah, one, Yeah, I didn't have that. I was too poor. Wasted no money on paint. Got a Marine. Oh, nice. Super Here. Sport Impala there. 68 to 70. Once a Marine, always a Marine. Tall original. Yep. Yes, sir. That's one of my favorite parts of the parade, I think, is the uh, are the classic vehicles. Yes. There's always... Uh, antique like clubs or classic feet. auto clubs. And the best thing is you don't need a pooper scooper behind any of them. <laughs> you don't. You sure don't. <laughs> you know, unless there's a little oil leak, then you'll need some oil scoopers. No, that doesn't work. Okay, and here's our next group. It's the Northern Arizona All Airborne Group. All are paratroopers, men and women who were members of elite airborne units who have served in World War II, Korea, Vietnam, Grenada, the Gulf War, and the present conflicts in Iraq and Afghanistan. All branches of the military are shown here. Let's remember that freedom isn't free. Someone has paid for you and me. That's right. They have, and I thank them for it. Boy, we all thank them. That's why we're here. You know, and as long as we're thanking people, I want to thank my dad, who's no longer with us. He was in the Air Force during Korea. And I want to Coast thank my Star. sister, who was also in the Air Force during the 80s, loadmaster on a C-141. You know, and God bless my father, too. He was in Korea, the Korean War also. So, Okay, and here's our next entrant. And joining us today is Entry 38, the Methodist Cruisers. Okay, here. so hey, we, uh, again, thank you for joining us here for the 2023 Veterans Day Parade. Yeah, this is the uh, Methodist Cruiser. They are privileged to honor World War II, 105 years young Staff Sergeant U.S. Army Milton Zatzik. He's a uh, 103 year old, uh, or 103 year young First Lieutenant Army Air Corps Al Shaney and 100 year young U.S. Army Private Bob Pratt. 91-year young Baltimore, specialist Jackson, U.S. Army Grace, Jerry Jackson, Army Korea, and Staff Captain Sergeant, U.S. Air Force Marcy Hurlburt from the Gulf War, and Staff US Sergeant Grace Cook, Vietnam, U.S. Army Vietnam, specialist and Staff Sergeant Meyer, U.S. Air Force Ron American Mitchell, specialist E-4, U.S. Army Carl Spanish Gruen Vietnam from Vietnam, Gulf and War. specialist E-4 Jim Myers. Yeah. There's Jim Myers going by right there. Yep. Four American heroes from the greatest generation and five spanning Vietnam to the Gulf, That's Gulf War. A lot of representation going on there. A lot of cool vehicles, yeah, too, going nice by, Mustangs as usual. Mustangs rolling by. Okay, I hear some marching. I hear some uh, That's got to be cadences. ROTC. That's right. It's the <laughs> Detachment 028 Air Force ROTC. They are an educational program designed to give men and women the opportunity to become Air Force officers while completing their degrees. The program is designed to prepare students for increasing responsibility and importance in the Air Force. We'll see them marching down the street. Big crowd pleaser today. Got a lot of applause from the audience. Certainly. And they've got their colors there. The United States Space Force is represented here with their flag. You know, the Space Force, uh, they've already rec recruited some uh, graduating students from uh, Embry-Riddle. That's right. Up here in Prescott. And you know, the Air Force actually just uh, raised their enlistment age to, I believe it's now 42, to try to get some of their numbers back up. And uh, so, yeah, it's never too late. You don't mean that they have to wait till they're 42 <laughs> to enlist? Oh, no, up to they go up, up to, to 42. Oh, okay, gotcha. That what was the age before? Uh, I think it was like 38. Oh, so they raised that's it. Great. Yeah. All right.
And again, the performances that happen by some of the uh, entrants as they go by, they're going right by the judges stand here. Of course, uh, they have different prizes for the different uh, entrants and different types of entries here in the parade. And of course, they, as they go by the judges stand, they want to put their best foot forward. And they're all in sync there too. some great officers one day. They will. I feel safer already. Oh, I feel safer, but I don't think I want to cross them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good about That's a great program to have uh, in our uh, educational areas. And one guy's carrying the uh, number 39 there on his sleeve. That's the entrance number. <laughs> Someone had to carry it. It's all people. All right, and so our next and Trent is number 40, yeah. third of the way through. Yep, it's the American Legion Post 108, and they've been serving our veterans in Prescott Valley for more than 35 years. The Legion is the largest and oldest veterans organization in the world and was formed back in 1919 after the first World War, oh, the war to end unwall wars, uh, which unfortunately wasn't the case. They sponsor Legion Boys State quarterly bingo the at the VA the hospital and uh, putting flags up on Highway 69 on important holidays. You see those all the time. We are proud to have and serve our, or they are proud to have served our their country for now uh, they can serve our community. That's right. And you know, out uh, I drive on 69 a lot during the holidays and I see those flags, hundreds of them seems like. I'm not sure how many there are, but there's a ton of them. It's a lot of work. It is a lot of work. Again, that goes right along with what you said earlier about volunteers. Yep. Okay, here we go with our next entrant in the uh, and Let's see here. We've got uh, the post 108. What, so what were you, Patty? Were you Ranchero Trike. or El Camino? I was Ranchero. That's a little what further down. Yeah, it is. A oh, okay, I see it coming. But this is the um, Veterans Club. It's entrant number 40, post 108. And we have a number of vehicles in here. And the red, white, and blue Patriotic Trike is coming up at the end. It's veteran Mike Ciavellas. He served from 68 to 72 from American Legion Post 108 in Prescott Valley and his wife, Frances Emma Barwood. She's former Phoenix Councilwoman and Vice Mayor. So you can see the rest of the bikes coming up here, but the red, white, and blue trike. There he is. Well, there he is right on the screen there. That reminds me of Easy Rider. <laughs> sure does. <laughs> With an extra wheel. personal mission on his own dime. So far, he's brought back. Over there they are, coming into the yeah, shot there. That's a little better shot there of them. And doing their circles and turning some donuts out there in front of the judges stand. All right, we see these buses going all throughout town all day, right, every day. We sure do. This is Yavapai Regional Transit. They've been in operation for over 10 years. They're a nonprofit tax credit authorized transit service. Their services run from Chino Valley to Prescott and on Wednesdays to Prescott Valley. And I just they provide transportation to doctor's ball. appointments, grocery stores, home goods, Prescott Courthouse, Yavapai College, and they uh, go to various employment locations, and all rides are free. Free rides. That's nice. Who, whoever turns down a free ride. That's Yavapai. the price I can afford. That's right. Yeah, well, especially with the, what you're driving. Um, Yavapai <laughs> Regional Transit. What an awesome group they are there. Okay, and then we have another candidate coming down, a candidate for state senate. This is Steve Zipperman. He's an Army veteran and a constitutional conservative who's running to represent you in the Arizona State Senate. You may be familiar with him by his well-attended classes on the U.S. Constitution as well as his involvement in many community issues. Steve Zipperman. And we are going now to Merrill, here's Mr. Zipperman now. Yeah. We had the banner about a little bit in front of him there, and sometimes that throws us for a loop, but you can see him right in the uh, back of the pickup there. He's got a nice entourage, nice little float going on there. 
Thank you. I don't know about you. I was still thinking of those pancakes from the Lions Club. Man, me too. Still hungry. Me too. Those are always good. Right behind that is the visiting angel. And you know, um, I was going to say that I see a lot of star spangling going on around here today. <laughs> Since 1998. Providing families with the best possible in-home care services. Well, then uh, we've got areas, um, especially for our seniors and veterans. Senior referral network. Continue to live at home. They are ranked in the top one hundred. Okay. In the nation. Yeah, this is the uh, visiting angels of Northern Arizona, Newman, and they've been providing YDI compassionate care to families across the U.S. since nineteen eight or nineteen ninety eight. You guys don't know who Brad Providing Newman families is. with the best possible in-home in care services East. in the Prescott area, and especially for our seniors and our veterans. They, really they help back, loved ones continue to live at back, home. They are ranked in the top one hundred in the nation. They are a senior referral network, and they'll be honoring Brad Newman with YEI on November 14th, 2023. All right, and right behind them is the Copper State Detachment Granite Mountain Young Marine. And uh, this group, the Copper State Detachment the Marine Copper Corps State League, Detachment once a Marine, Marine always Marine, Marines. Semper Fi. Copper State Detachment Marine Corps League, once a Marine, always a Marine, Semper Fi. And uh, you can see they have a, a color guard also Marine marching Marines. through there. And uh, we have some dignitaries riding in the truck. And a number of vehicles that follow up from behind there. The Color Guard Marching Unit uh, is the Granite Mountain Young Marines, strengthening the lives of American youth, discipline, leadership, and teamwork. Copper State Detachment, Granite Mountain Young Marines. And you can see that's a nice truck. You know, I've seen a lot of trikes, motorcycle trikes. Yeah. It's the three-wheelers. And uh, those are the ones that um, have the one wheel in the front, two in the back. I've seen some trikes that have two wheels in the front feet and one yep. in the back. Got something for everyone. I guess so. <laughs> wonder which one's easier to ride? I couldn't tell you. But then we have uh, more okay, we're gonna vehicles try coming by side, here. And this one's got a flag for Air Toys Force for Tots. RTC. So don't forget about that Why program. I love that program today. every year. Employees Sponsored by the U.S. The Marine Corps. AC and uh, go to your local stores, drop off a toy for somebody that might not have one otherwise. All right. Yeah, Toys for Tots. That's always a good deal. Because there's a lot of uh, different charities that give to children who might not have anything for Christmas. Make sure and give to them. I'm gonna read I hear more bagpipes. So, so then coming up next here down the here street is Men in Skirts. <laughs> but they're proud to be in skirts. They're called kilts, of course. Indeed. Yeah, this is uh, the Scottish American Military Society post 1314. This post is one of Prescott Valley's foremost veteran organizations comprised of mostly American combat veterans with Scottish or Scotch Irish heritage. They are a nonprofit 501c3, or I'm sorry, C19, with the aim of helping other veterans. Uh, among their guys. members is a distinguished World War II Navy veteran, Jerry Welna, a D-Day survivor, wow. and veterans from almost every branch of service. A D-Day survivor. Wow. That's that fantastic. It's not, you know, and it seems like, I was just thinking about that this morning. I was watching a little show on uh, some of the World Wars, and just thinking about as time goes on, less and less and less of yep. the, uh, you know, veterans uh, I think from it, the wars. I think at one point we were losing about 300 World War II vets every day. So... Wow, and that number, uh, you know, is, of course, as that days go on, that number dwindles down. But yeah. we are just so grateful that the uh, greatest generation served us in that way. It's fantastic. So if you know a veteran, preserve their stories. All right. The Scottish hey, Jason, you're here just American up. Military nice. Society. They've got a lot of flags on there, too, Pete. They do. I only recognize about two of them. Yeah, the Arizona flag, United States flag, and then... Uh, looks like Wales? No. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm sure glad that they're doing that. Okay, and our next entrant here is Las Fuentes Resort. Actually, they didn't show up, Patty, but you know who do we do have? Is we have the Las Fuentes Resort. Prescott's premier retirement community who have years of years of service and experience represented on their bus and in their building. They are once again glad to be part of this parade. Thank I you still never caught those flags, Pete. What those men? So oh, those, oh, those, oh, those are the four Air Force, Air Force services. Yep. Yeah, those and are for the armed forces. Day. 
And coming into your screen right now in your shot is Las Fuentes Resort. Yeah, they're Prescott's premier retirement community who have years and years of service and experience represented on their bus and in their building. They are once again glad to be a part of this parade. They want to thank all veterans who work and fight so hard to keep our country free. And then we have the Good Samaritan Society celebrating 101 years of care for seniors and 45 years in the Prescott community. And they're dedicated to sharing God love through work uh, through the work of health healing and comfort some of the residents who reside at their facility one is al cheney and we have jake hodges bill moore and jack blocker following their willow wind van riding in the corvette you'll see this it's coming up you can't miss it i love that color it's a nice ride. There it comes. It's the Corvette. That thing is a brand new one, one of the wow. latest, the newest you know, models were, of Corvette. Uh, and it um, looks like Bill Moore, a B-29 pilot in the 8th Army Air Corps from World War II riding in there. In the town of All right, we got some cheerleaders and a mascot coming up. This is the NAZ Northern Arizona Wranglers. Yeah, football, baby. There we go. Let's say hello to our local professional indoor football team. They continue to build something special right here in the town of Prescott Valley including free game tickets for our veterans. They provide awesome family fun on the field and in the stands for all ages with affordable ticket prices. They're looking forward to their fourth season All right. West Moss. And here we go, Republican women of Prescott proudly saluting veterans by donating time and money to veterans organizations uh, in the community who support veterans. They contribute to adapt, adapt a platoon with money and Christmas cards that go out to deployed military, and they train local veterans to an annual veterans luncheon every November. They're the largest Republican women's organization in Arizona, and Pete, you know they're the largest women's Republican women's organization in the nation, right here in, right here in Prescott. Wow. Very impressive. And joining them today are members of the new Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University College Republicans. Good for them. Embry-Riddle represented there. Getting a new generation. That's right. And then the, this, uh, I see an eagle coming up. Yeah, that's there. also part of the Republican women of Prescott. Yes, it is. And uh, it's not quite as big as the other eagle we saw today, but it doesn't matter. It's still a no less grand. bald <laughs> eagle, American <laughs> eagle. And some wonderful people walking behind there, too, in support. That's awesome. Republican women of Prescott, largest in the nation. Yeah. And I hear a dive horn. That sounds like a submarine. That's right. It does, doesn't it? The Gudgeon Base. Yep. And that's the uh, Gudgeon oh, Base USS UI Prescott Maybe. Valley. Up next is the Arizona Submarine Gudgeon Base of oh, Prescott yes. Valley. The, the submarine, submarine service is called the Silent Service. The, the only requirement to join the American service. submariners the is to be successfully designated as qualified in submarines. Now, how many people do you know are qualified in submarines? I actually know two. <laughs> do you? Oh, my gosh. And how many rocket scientists do you know? Peter? Zero. Well, I know three Well, of you. That's I know what you three. tell me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The Gudgeon Base. That's pretty neat. Uh, it says, uh, donate the memory of our shipmates who gave their lives in the pursuit of duties while serving their country. Let their deeds and supreme well, sacrifice be a constant call, source of motivation towards uh, greater accomplishments. Yeah, I'm a little too claustrophobic for subservice. Bubble. You know, I, I'm, I think that that would be a, a, a spe specified uh, <laughs> order people want to go into. You yes, know, you, have to, you have to want it. And I'm the right size that. for it, which is sad. At 5'6", I'm perfect for a submarine. You certainly would be, but you said you're claustrophobic. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you could have a window put in your room. Yeah. <laughs> Screen window. <laughs> I don't believe it. Okay. All right, now we've got Summit 4x4 coming. Yeah, out. baby. They're a one-stop shop, uh, off-road shop in the Tri-City area. They've got locations both in Prescott and Prescott Valley, over 15 vehicle lifts and bays. So they got plenty of room for all your vehicles. They got state-of-the-art tooling and specialized technicians. They've got custom builds, fabrication, and they also just do routine service and maintenance on all 4x4s, those UTVs that you all like, side-by-sides, light to heavy-duty trucks and fleet vehicles. So from basic, uh, basic services like oil changes and tire rotations, they've got you covered. There's tons and tons of Jeeps. And uh, yeah, there's so many Jeeps. <laughs> Very nice ones. You know, and they've gone now to these four doors and they've got the Jeep trucks. Yeah. There's a lot of opportunity to uh, get a Jeep and a lot of accessories to put on too. Well, this next one, Pete, is another entrant. 
This may be my favorite group of all. It's the um, now, Arizona All-American all Girl. They are a youth the development program girl. focusing on their natural beauty, poise, public speaking, and personality. All things that, Marty, you poise, excel in, I must say. <laughs> well, you know, I've got poise, but I don't really have beauty, <laughs> natural beauty. I don't, I'm kind of lacking there. Uh, these are, uh, this group's open to girls ages 0 through 26. I don't know if. Can you be age zero? I guess you can. <laughs> they celebrate today's girls and tomorrow's leaders in a fun family natural program. Congrats to the 2023 Arizona State Royalty and our own national tiny miss. Now, you know, you can be zero. Until you're one, you're still zero. Oh, well, I guess that's true. But okay. it's your first year of life, so I guess that's debatable. Okay. And here comes the 2024 Prescott Frontier Days Royalty. Please welcome Please your Prescott, welcome Prescott Frontier, Frontier Days Royalty. Days royalty. We have the 2024 Miss Prescott Frontier Days. And you can see these were the royalty that came from the, uh, or actually coming up for the 2024 Frontier Days. Uh, this is the 2024 Miss Prescott Frontier Days. Riley Anforth, as well as the Prescott Frontier Days Junior Queen, Audrey Hankins. And yeah, marching by now, these are the Rangers. Yep. Back to the early yep, they are uh, an all-volunteer law enforcement auxiliary with a rich history uh, dating back to the early 1900s. They provide law enforcement, they provide law enforcement support and assistance to federal, tribal, state, or local, state or local law enforcement agencies. The Rangers provide security, security services for community, community events. They support your organizations and help keep alive the history and traditions West. of the Old and West. You know, these guys do so much Very good. And, and, and looks like we have a little gap in our Thank you. Coverage right here. We got some another group coming up the street. In the meantime, we will tell you about our sponsors here for the 2023 Veterans Day Parade live from Prescott, Arizona. By the way, I'm with uh, Pete Ionone. I am Marty Myers, and we are here live in Prescott, right across from the Courthouse Plaza. A uh, wonderful day for a parade. Everyone's donning their jackets because it's starting to warm up here a little bit as we get to the noon hour. You know, some of our we sponsors, had, go ahead. Oh, so someone actually just approached me from the crowd, and I think we might have misspoke on one of the names. The 2024 Miss Prescott Frontier Days, uh, the first name, Riley. I, can't sing. Okay. So I think we might have missed that one. Yes, so. Okay, so then our KYCA sponsorships again. Yavapai <laughs> County Food Bank. Yavapai Exceptional Industries. We also are sponsored by Greenlee Designer Surfaces. Pralines of Prescott. And those are some of our sponsors. Again, these sponsors are going to be with us all the way through the holiday season. So as we bring you the Christmas parade on December 2nd and the courthouse lighting, we'll also She's have them there. The United States Senate to represent the people of all right. Arizona in the Washington, Here is Carrie Lake for Senate. She's, the only conservative She's running America for United States race, Senate to represent the people of Arizona Democrats. in Washington, D.C. She is the only state, conservative America Arizona. first candidate, uh, candidate, candidate in the race running against two radical Democrats. Carrie says, together, Hi, we will Carrie. take back our state and save Arizona. Visit carrylake.com for more information. And there you can see her waving to the crowd as she marches along the parade route here at the 2023 Veterans Day Parade, Carrie Lake. And she's giving out hugs. <laughs> she's got some supporters yeah, there. and she's the got entourage. Wow. Uh, very large license plate type looking banners and posters. <laughs> and you know, those two guys don't I wonder if they can use those. Now she's got November 24. Is that the expiration date or is that, that's actually the, <laughs> that's actually the election date. I it think. is sneaky. Yes. But that's neat, kind of a neat uh, way to advertise your uh, running for public office. Yep. I don't know if our fans can see it, but this is the first year that the uh, Prescott Fire Department took their ladder truck and has draped a large American flag right over the intersection here and blowing in this uh, windy that day. Has, that has been visible uh, with some shots down the parade route, but yeah. It's a big long arm, it's extended with a very large flag right down the middle. And here's our next group, the Route 66 Young Marines, strengthening the lives of America's youth by providing quality youth development programs for boys and girls ages 8 to 18, while focusing on discipline, leadership, and teamwork. They are starting them young, that's a good thing. Oh, what's that I hear? 
Sounds like a marching band. And then they get home. There it is. is. I don't know why when they get it's home. The it's the so Pride of Prescott <laughs> Marching Band under the direction of you know, Dr. Again, Calvin Otis and the magnificent and incredible Kim Beard. Kim Beard, magnificent and incredible, a home that's not self described. <laughs> under the direction of Dr. Calvin Otis. They're jamming, though. Let's watch them jam and listen to them play. The Pride of Prescott. Let's hear it. And a member of their junior ROTC out front. of God Bless America, it sounds like. Okay, here we have another entrance. We're up to number 70 now. Zero Res, Northern Arizona. Carpet, tile, and house cleaning provides a powerful, non-toxic, deep cleaning without using soaps or harsh chemicals. Zero Res, have you ever heard of Zero Res? Do you know that when you spell it, you spell it backwards, it actually spells Zero Res. There's a name for that, I just don't know what it is. Yeah, it, is. Yeah, it certainly is. Zero Res means zero residue. They're serving proudly the greater Prescott area. You can ask about their military discounts. Zero yeah, res built backwards or forward. There you go. We just said that. Right way to clean northern Arizona. I feel like it's called a palindrome. Is that what it is? Yeah, something like that. Okay. All right. Next up is entry 72, the Combat Veterans Motorcycle Association. They're an association of combat veterans from all branches of the United States Armed Forces who ride motorcycles as a hobby. They strive to honor the memory of those who have gone before. Their mission now is to support and defend those who have defended our country and our freedoms. Riding today are veterans from World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. They have some beefy motorcycles there, yeah. too. I'll tell you that. And our first air cab guy going right by. And you know what? This uh, this couldn't happen down in Phoenix. It's a little too warm for there for all the leathers these guys are wearing. Yes. Riding a motorcycle. It's a perfect day to wear them heavy leathers. It is a gorgeous day here today. Sure is. Yep, I think uh, we'll have to check on the temperature. I think we're in the 60s now, I bet you. Yeah, let me look it up. I'm standing in the one little corner that has some sunlight to try to keep warm. You are, here. and you're kind of hogging it from me. Yeah, so. I've created a shadow over you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be in the shadows all day, so it's a, it's okay. Very good and nice and good. All right. And you can see some more uh, supporters. Oh, we're getting close, Marty. 59 club. degrees. 59. We're almost 60. Wow, okay. Well, it's about an hour off on that. In case those guys get tired of pedaling. And you can see in the background of a shot there, the beautiful That's Courthouse beautiful. Plaza. And uh, we're going to be lighting that up here on December 2nd, the night of, right at about 6 o'clock, I believe. They're going to be uh, having the Chris, uh, Courthouse Lighting, Christmas yes. Christmas Lighting. We got the if you've never been up in Prescott to see that, you can take that in all the way, I think, just past uh, New Year's Day. I think so, yeah, I forget the day they bring it down. But, but uh, there's trees all around the Courthouse Plaza, as you can see. And uh, they're all lit up. It's just incredible. So please go check that out. All right. This is the Kiwanis Club of Prescott. They were founded in 1924 and have remained dedicated to improving the lives of children in our community one child at a time. Through its annual action, the club raises over $150,000 per year and provides funding to numerous child-focused nonprofit organizations in our community. In addition to providing college scholarships directly to numerous graduating seniors every year. Oh, beauty. GTOs. Those things will burn out, that's for sure. <laughs> that's awesome. Kiwanis Club of Prescott. You know, they did more than the uh, than the car clubs did. Yes, they did. As far as burning out on the street in front of the judges. Do the judges give extra points for how much scratch you can lay on the on the asphalt out here? I think that's the principle. Yeah. <laughs> if it wasn't, I'd be disappointed. Oh, and here's some that can lay down some uh, some hoof prints, maybe. 
They definitely, and these are ones that definitely need uh, pooper scoopers behind them. Yeah. The Chino Valley Equestrian Park. They're inspired by the hopes and dreams of a community. They encompass the grit and spirit that makes Arizona great, a great equestrian state. Today, they're proud to send special thanks to all who served, all who have fought for freedom, for all who have represented the U.S. of United States of America with heroic pride. Here's to our new generation of warriors. Oh, fantastic. I love these horses. See if we can get one of them peeled out. Yep, and I see, uh, see our good friend out there, Rita. She's riding on one of her horses from the Chino Valley Equestrian Park. She, uh, He's on KYCA uh, PM show uh, a couple times a month or once a month. We're really happy to see her out there. Is she the one with horses with heart? I believe so. I think so. I can't remember. Oh, so there's our pooper scoopers. Let's give it to the pooper scoopers. <laughs> Here they come. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the first time we see this So that's today. great. Yeah, we haven't had too many horses out here today. I think she's proud to be doing that job. Okay, and for our next entrant, number 75. Yeah, this is VA Rep, Veterans Association of Real Estate Professionals. VA Rep, or VA Rep, is, uh, their mission is to improve the lives of veterans through education, housing, economic development, and philanthropy. Philanthropy is a good thing. There's a lot of people who do that. I mean, we're kind of being held up by these scoopers up here, but that's okay. Take your time. We want to have a parade route that's free and clear of any kind of never mind okay I'm so getting flashbacks <laughs> of junior high school walking in the parade behind the horses <laughs> playing my drum well, you were the only one you were playing your lone drum oh uh, there's about four or five of us oh okay yeah yeah been kind of weird. <laughs> so yeah and now we have another group this is a group from embry riddle university aeronautical university and another rotc Pete, you get, I'm going to quiz you here. What does ROTC stand for? It is the Reserve Officer Training Corps. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Rod, tell him what he's won. <laughs> A <Okay>. new Kia. <laughs> <laughs> you probably need one of those. Uh, okay, so this is Every Riddle Aeronautical University Army ROTC. They recruit and train cadets to become future Army officers in the U.S. Army, the Army Reserve or Army National Guard. And the cadets conduct realistic training and have the ability to attend Army schools such as Airborne School. And we got a little formation in front of us here. Oh, they're doing push ups. The judges score them more points for the more push ups they do. <laughs> Did you keep up with them, you think, Pete? Um, yeah, my days of push-ups are over. I think right. they did a total of 22 in front of us, which is exactly 22 more than I can do. Well, and then well done. I noticed the guys in the back didn't do a thing. They're standing there watching. But that's okay. <laughs> that's uh, They're probably being taught and schooled on how to do push-ups. Maybe they lost them. a bet. That's why they had to do theirs. <laughs> Could have been. <laughs> but they're carrying the wonderful colors there as they march off. Yes. Yeah, next up. Right behind them, another student association. You know, Marianne, I feel like I'm in better There they are. It's the Yavapai that. College Student Veterans Association, and they're providing supportive connections and promoting growth with education and future prosperity for student veterans through volunteerism and community outreach. They do indeed. And as the ROTC marches off, we'll bring in the Yavapai College Student Veterans Association. Here they come. They have a nice little the trailer, a nice College float there with a lot of people in the back there. I bet you some of them are veterans. Uh -huh. Promoting growth with education and future prosperity. Looks like all the branches recognize. Sure does. Community outreach. Yavapai College Student Veterans Association. That is the Student Veterans Association provided, providing supportive connections and promoting growth with education and for future prosperity for student veterans through volunteerism and community outreach. Now this is a cool ride. That is, that's gotta be an electric vehicle, I bet you. Probably. 
It looks like a giant, giant golf, golf cart, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. You can fit your whole force in there. <laughs> and then behind them, we've got Dr. She's Mary Lou Mercado. We're having a UTV Moore, there. She's an associate officer, vice president of health services with Dr. College, Kim Moore, chief innovation officer of CR business side and side workforce side solutions at Yavapai College, blood. driving a Kawasaki TRX side by side, green with we black and gray camouflage. Yavapai driving College, her own. Please. That's pretty cool. And after that, the college EMS. So then we've got the police from Yavapai College yep. going by there. And, and then Yavapai followed closely career. behind by Sir, the Avapai College Yavapai. Emergency Medical College, System uh, or Service. Just, they get their training at Yavapai College to become an EMT or a paramedic. Yes, and with that training, they can have a challenging and rewarding career serving the public. They are dedicated to rescuing, and rehabilitating, and restoring the uh, See, the now this group's more my speed. I love the horses. This is uh, Bethany's Gate Branch. A G-A-I-T. <laughs> and they're dedicated to rescuing, rehabilitating, and restoring the lives of active duty reserve veteran military first responders their family members and horses in need veterans from gulf war uh, oef and oif uh, who are in the program are riding horses while their uh, family members wait from the truck and equine therapy is a real thing it's done a lot of great things for veterans a lot of great things for uh, the youth in our community and just some towering beautiful horses yes. there. absolutely huge that one looks like a clydesdale Sure does. I'm not sure that it is, but it's, uh, and I'm trying to look at the and flags. Look the like they're showing on those flags are, uh, the armed services for, uh, flags. I think yes. it shows all the different yep. armed services on the particular flags. Let's talk more about our sponsors here for the KYCA broadcast of the 2023 Veterans Day Parade. Yep. We have Spirit West Certified Planning. And we also have Roxy Webb Financial. And we thank you for supporting the broadcast here of the 2023 Veterans Day Parade live here in Prescott. And there goes Wait, the finer, final entourage of our last group. Coming up next is the 80th entry. Yeah, it's Chris for Arizona. He's running for county supervisor in District 4. A longtime resident who wants to focus on growth, traffic, and water issues facing Yavapai County. Chris Cucnio is ready to go to work for the residents in District 4 of Yavapai County. It's actually Chris, All right. for County Supervisor, District 4. He's a longtime resident here, focused on growth. Well, I don't even know if we know. Do we know that guy? I think I heard his name he's tossed around once yeah. in a while. Yeah. Pretty obscure. I think he's kind of haunting me in my head today, yeah. too, on the parade route. I'm just not sure. And he's sitting about six feet away from me <laughs> and has no idea that I am uh, speaking poorly of him. <laughs> well, you know, he's a, definitely a good guy, and uh, yeah, he's yeah. doing a great job here uh, helping out with the parade, for sure. The is from an F-250. And, it's got an and hey, well, what did I just tell you that uh, we're glad you're joining us here on KYCA, on uh, KYCA.info, and on the KYCA uh, Facebook page. We're also broadcasting live on the City of Prescott Facebook page, as well as the City of Prescott website. And we again thank you for joining us here for the 2023 Veterans Day Parade. A wonderful day here live in Prescott, Arizona. It's great to be in Prescott. And then another friend of ours, uh, Quan Wen for LD1. He's done a lot of work for us so far already. He's been our champion down at the legislature, uh, at the legislature representing LD1. He has successfully fought to protect our Second Amendment rights against those that want to exploit our kids. He's continuing to push for legislation that puts those that deal in deadly fentanyl behind bars. Quan is honored to be in today's parade to thank those who fought for his freedom. In fact, he calls veterans his founding fathers. Tell you what, he's done a great job in the legislature, and we've had him on the station many she times is about to go and uh, yeah. great to have him oh, Selena Bliss Ken Bennett all representing the Prescott area and Fantastic. He's, got, he's got his daughter uh, marching with him and uh, she just graduated from the Naval Academy oh. Oh. Mistaken. is that Mayor Phil Ken Good Bennett. sneaking in there it is it's Ken Bennett yep here he goes. <laughs> Ken Bennett for Senate. yes okay and in the truck is my mom Donna Bennett Wendorf 
She was married to retired Lieutenant Colonel Charles Lindorf III. He was B-52 nuclear bomber pilot. Thank you, Mom and Charles. All right, that's Ken Bennett. Thank you, Ken. State Senator. Way to go, Ken. Right. Good, Good to see you. <laughs> he wants a donut. We don't feed our politicians. He, he wanted to introduce his, uh, he said his mother, who's yeah. in the truck there, so that was nice. Yes, you know, I guess he said his dad was a B-52 bomber pilot. Judge, yep. and you can see the mayor standing in shot there, Mayor Prescott, joining Mr. Bennett. Oh, he oh, took he, a whole box yeah. of donuts, my goodness. Well, he has a lot of people to feed there. Oh, look at that, what's that what yeah. bike? What's that bike He called? was riding it, yeah, it's one of the old-timey bikes with like the four-foot front wheel and the one-foot back wheel. I forget what they wheel. call those. Yeah. But he was actually riding that. Coming down the road is a was he really? Yeah, yeah, earlier today on Getting Ready for the Parade. Holy cow, that's wild. That goes back to our All right, well, here they come. This is the High Desert Rough Riders. They focus on creating a horse community that gives back to the veterans. Rough Riders, they've got several e events throughout the year to raise money for veterans in need. If you'd like to support them or join them, you can visit their website at HighDesertRoughRiders.com. That's HighDesertRoughRiders.com. Ooh, this is a loud group. You know, this is uh, the time in the parade where the very most important people, of course, follow the horses, as you can see. <laughs> well, as we can see, you're not going to see it, but we do. They left some presents for us, indeed. We don't. We do. <laughs> But yes, High Desert Rough Riders. Their banners with all their sponsors. That's amazing. And yes, you can see the sponsorship banner there and watching the banner carriers avoid the uh, <laughs> street. He, he almost bombs. stepped on a landmine. He wasn't paying attention. <laughs> That's he almost right. stepped on it. And here we go. Okay, we got those guys helping us out here on the on the parade route. Thank and you then for keeping our streets clean. <laughs> Taking their time, doing it right. There we go. Is our next group yep. is the yeah. Prescott Vet Center. Yeah, they're a community-based counseling center that provides a wide range of social and psychological services, including professional readjustment counseling to eligible veterans, uh, as well as to active duty service members, including National Guard and Reserve components and their families. Great, great group here. Uh, they help veterans enroll and uh, also help them locate the services that they need. Yes, and they need to get those services. The services that they're entitled to should be every service available exactly. because they've served our country and uh time, you know, time to give some back that's lost, right don't we, Patty? That's true, we sure and the you know, vet center lost, these guys are come it's not for corvettes it's for veterans what if you're a vet in a vet it, it, it's right you know i had a friend who had a chevette remember the chevy chevette <laughs> I drove a chevy and chevette. he always said let's go out and take the vet let's, let's take the vet <laughs> it's like, that's not a vet. <laughs> and here's our next group this is the yavapai <laughs> county jeep posse They've been going strong for the last 71 years, and they work with the Yavapai County Sheriff's Office, and they assist in fire evacuations. They set up roadblocks, snow escorts. They do snow rescues. They take water to stranded motorists, and they search for missing persons and so much more. They're very active in the community and helping at a number of local events, such as the Man versus Horse Race, the Parade of Light, and so much so more. Lost these guys yeah, these, I'm telling you, if you're, uh, we hear of a lot of hikers being rescued by these gentlemen, yes. and they're, they're all volunteer. They are. They have these vehicles themselves, and they go out and they volunteer, and they, they are called upon. They certainly answer the call. But let's put these guys out of business. If you're going hiking, prepare for it. <laughs> That's right. Bring some water. Let somebody know where you're going. I'm sure they'd like to be out of business, not <laughs> having to help people. But no, exactly. there's always people in need, and people need to be helped, and. These guys step up and do it. Not many people would uh, take on that role. So. Yep. And you don't need a Jeep to participate. You can ride on the passenger side and handle the radios and do all kinds of other functions to help the drivers. And just setting it all up with water and supplies, things they yep. need to go out and rescue people. Yep. Now we've got uh, also in a Hummer, actually, not a Jeep, a Hummer, it's Angry Ape Off-Road, and they're providing off-road tours into the Prescott National Forest. That sounds like a fun day. They give people the opportunity to see parts of Prescott that very few experience. They've got over six different options. They have a tour just for you. From mild to scenic to wild, 
uh, and to uh, hang on to your shorts. Uh, they got something for everyone. Come see the best parts of Prescott. Give them a shout. They'd love to take you out. Oh, they've got some actual apes here on the back of the. Uh, oh boy. Back of their ride. And they are angry. Oh are my they gosh. from the planet? <laughs> planet of the Apes. That was a good show. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I didn't make it, but anyway. Okay, here we go with the Granite Mountain Young Marines. And uh, you know, we've had a lot of different color guards. Everyone uh, sporting a United States flag, at least. And uh, it's good to see we have the Young Marines marching here. They are a youth organization for girls and boys ages 8 to 18, focusing on teamwork, self-discipline, and leadership helping our youth understand the importance of self-confidence, academic achievement, honoring our veterans, good citizenship, and community service, and living a healthy, drug-free life. And Batman, holy cow, this oh is the last goodness. person I expected to see today. Well. But uh, he's bringing smiles and joy to all individuals, young and otherwise, standing up for <laughs> strong family values and patriotism for his country with his sidekick, Catwoman. I thought his sidekick was Robin. That's right. Well, I thought it was, too. And I didn't know he drove a black Corvette. <laughs> okay, and here's our next group. This is the Franklin Phonetic Charter School. They've been in the Quad City area since 1996. Twirlers have been a part of the school for over 20 years. They have boys and girls from kindergarten through eighth grade. They have the only twirling team in northern Arizona. You can tell how well they're doing it there. The staff and students salute the veterans who keep our nation free. Cool, and here they go. This is the uh, band part, it looks like, the wind instruments. All right, there's the caissons going marching along, they're playing. And Marty, it is official 60 Boy, degrees here right. downtown Prescott. That's the way, Pete, thanks for keeping up on that. We appreciate that a lot. Okay, we're down to our last, uh, oh, 30, 30 or so groups yeah, left. Yeah, yeah, this is uh, Finley Auto Group. They're privileged to have the opportunity to honor the bravery, dedication, and sacrifice of the women and men who have worn the cloth of this nation. Through their sacrifice and service, they have earned the title of veteran, and while today they join together to celebrate veterans, they do so with a solemn pledge to thank and honor uh, all of them, not just today, but every day. Good looking Toyotas there. I hear them coming. This is the American Legion Post 78. Good looking group of vehicles there for sure. Finley Auto Group. So, Pete, let's talk about a couple more of our sponsors for the parade today. KYCA sponsored by Prescott True Value. Yep. And also by Lamerson's Jewelry. Lamerson's Jewelry. Thank you for supporting the broadcast here, Veterans Day Parade. Yep, and uh, right in front of us now is American Legion Post 78 from Dewey Humboldt, supporting veterans, veterans' families, and the community. Their main charities are Reefs Across America and Arizona Bird Foundation and Courage. And they go, <laughs> I like, I love the uh, motorcycle, the deep sounding motorcycle, and then the little car behind him. Located at the corner, yeah. And you can see, here comes our next entrance. That's Five Star Cars out in Prescott Valley. They are a premier used car dealership in Prescott Valley. They specialize in quality pre cars, trucks, SUVs, and hearing aids. No, I'm just kidding. We're going to need one after that, though. Located at the corner of Yavapai and Florentine in PV, they're honored to be joined today by customers that are that are honking their horn very loudly and they're uh, customers that are OIF and OEF veterans who would like your help in thanking them for their service. And I'm not sure that, uh, that that's gonna do, you know, the judges have ears too, so I'm pretty I'm glad sure. glad we've got our headphones on, that's all I'm saying. And I'm afraid that the mic's kind of made it louder. All right, rolling into the screenshot now, we've got TC Carpet Care. They're a veteran-owned and operated floor care company. They're serving the Quad City area from Hardwood, tile, carpet, residential and commercial. They've got something for everything. They enjoy making your floors look brand new. They specialize in repairs and carpet stretching, guaranteeing their work 100%. 
Remember, if it touches your soul, follow your heart and call TC Carpet Care. It's follow your soul, S-O-L-E. There's a lot of clever marketing going on here today. Fantastic. I'm liking it a lot. Do you know there's a new sport in was, the Olympics? I was you hear about that? I know. Flag football. Oh, my goodness. It's going to be an Olympic sport. And it looks like right and here we, now introduce you to the we have a flag football group there's a little group in a league going on here it's a youth sports league providing spring and fall seasons for players four to fifteen now flag football is a little bit less confrontational that's right or can, yes combative than it is a uh, uh, regular tackling football but they, they'll have their first season in the spring of 2024 they're going to be playing games at mile high middle school registration is open for Quad City Flag Football. You can find them at quadcityflag.com online, quadcityflag.com. And they love being a part of the community and they love the veterans. As we all do. Now we've got another marching band, or uh, rather a uh, high school Air Force Junior ROTC group coming by. It's the Bradshaw Mountain High School Air Force Junior ROTC Bear Battalion. Uh, JROTC provides lessons in civics, leadership, team building, and career skills. Leading the battalion is the color guard and cadet command sergeant major Austin Ebersole. This year's battalion commander is cadet lieutenant colonel Gavin Trusty. Looks like they're reciting their, their creed. No push-ups from this group. Not yet. An impressive group of young men and women. Bradshaw Mountain Junior Making RPC. themselves known for sure. Representing Bradshaw Mountain High School. The Bear Battalion. And there they go. Up next, entry 96, Spirit of the West. Now see, we have some more uh, horses coming up here. Which is always a part of our parades, that's for sure. Spirit West, or Spirit of the West Riders, it was founded by Phil Spangerberg in 1992. It's a group of horse riders who represent the American West from 1865 to 1900. The group has ridden in the Pasadena Rose Parade since 1992 and uh, many local parades also. Spirit West, Spirit of the West Riders. And another horse group right behind them. This is Foothills Ranch. They're voted number one in Foot Northern Hills Arizona for guided horseback trail rides in the beautiful Bradshaw Mountains, Bradshaw Mountains. Mountains. Big Buck Creek. Explore the rich <laughs> western history of little the little munchkin dog riding on an ATV in the front of the group there. Yeah, yeah. followed by these just wonderful look looking horses. This one's kind of dancing. He's dancing. He's proud to be in the parade, you can tell. They're going to help us explore the rich western history of one of the largest gold discoveries in Arizona. They're located on Highway 69. Look for the big American flag. And they want to give a big thank you to all of our veterans. You know, if you've ever driven up from Phoenix up 69, uh, Big Bug Creek that they're referring to, that actually crosses, or 69 crosses that several times on the way up. You might have noticed that. And, uh, of course, when you're driving up here, you see the beautiful Bradshaw Mountains. What a great way to take a little tour on a guided horseback yes, trail ride out there in the Bradshaws. Look at this, a pink Mustang. Also called ESGR. That's nice. Pink Mustang, I'm saying it's probably about a 67, seven, eight, something yeah. like that. It's the employer support for the Guard and Reserve, ESGR. They've been around since 1972. And uh, they're in support of the Guard and Reserve. And they're the leading, they're the leading U.S. Defense Department program promoting cooperation and understanding between civilian employers and their National Guard and Reserve employees. Between the Guard and Reserve, they make up 42% of our military. And rolling through the screen right now is the Southwest Truck and RV Group. Uh, they service anything from Kia, hey, how about that, to Kenworth, <laughs> including RV maintenance and alignment. Do you have a Kia? I do, okay. but it's not a, uh, it's not like a... Is it service? <laughs> All the time. <laughs> they are located at 8626 East Long Mesa Drive in Prescott Valley. Their float is titled The Story of Freedom, featuring vets from three wars, Korea, Vietnam, and Desert Storm. 
Well, you don't got to. All right, and the next more food. See, everything's making you hungry. You got the pancake breakfast, now you got Culver's, and the donuts. Ken Bennett just took those away a while ago. Okay, so Culver's in both Prescott and Prescott Valley is this group here. They're owned and operated by local families and partnering together. To thank their, our, our veterans, you can stop by at either local location and, an and say hi. The say hi to them and, and eat some veterans. food, too. But they'd appreciate the that. Anniversary of their annual car show, the veteran, and in this bright the red Dodge Ram, we've got Cruise in for the Veterans. It's interesting. This will be the 12th anniversary of their Looking annual car show to benefit show. local veteran organizations. The Cruise in for the Veterans <laughs> car show. <laughs> Oh man, there's a nice little uh, resto mod no. there coming up. What is that? Impala. It's a beautiful old Impala. It's yeah. Fantastic. Now what a great job. And then you got a little uh, oh, like a cutlass there. Yep, four convertible. I'll get another convertible. Oh, this guy's four, on fire. He's teasing us. You hear four, that? Four, two. That's yep. right. It's a purr. Oh, yeah. That sounds nice. They're a little too close to each other to lay down any rubber. Yeah, you don't want to lay a scratch right there. <laughs> Cruise in for the veterans. And you know, right behind them is the movement mm -hmm. dance team. Yeah, so what do you think? Three We've three seen a lot of really neat vehicles here today, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. My favorite was the armored vehicle. That was pretty yeah, impressive. Yeah, County. Or is that the city of Prescott? <laughs> okay, so here we go with the movement dance team. Yeah, the 2023-24 group includes 51 dancers, ages 5 to 18. Holy cow, what was I doing when I was 5? I wasn't coordinated <laughs> enough to dance, that's for sure. Uh, they're training and competing in a variety of genres. Their highly qualified and experienced instructors encourage and instill a love of dance. Check them out at the movementstudiopb.com. All right. And here's John Guerra. He's uh, it's, it's a group of historic military vehicles restored and maintained by their owners. And they do that to honor our military. In the group, they have the following, the 45 Willis B, uh, MB. As used in World War II, a 1953 M38A1 and a 1945 World War II era WC51. And it's for sale. How much? <laughs> 20 grand. And One of them's got a uh, for sale sign on the side. Yeah, on and the front he, window. Uh, yeah. Is asking for 20 grand for it. That's nice. We hope oh, he gets it. I hope it's uh, sure is nicely restored. That's for sure. Okay, so the BRO's bench racing operators. Oh, here we go, baby. Operators. This is what I'm talking about. They are got a bunch of local guys around here. They enjoy talking about cars, sharing information, and doing car events. They're here today to honor and celebrate our veterans for their service and sacrifices to provide our freedoms. And our United States of America are also here to support the great city of Prescott. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm just gonna take all this in. A lot of big V8 engines rolling by. Man, that is. That is a lot of chrome on that engine. That is sweet is stuff there. I'm telling you, this is what really gets me going, are these uh, resto mods and uh, muscle gorgeous. cars. It's not a car unless you can actually feel it inside of you. Yes. <laughs> Even the old Studebaker wagon there, that's pretty cool. Look at this. Dodge van. Oh, an old fastback van. Mustang, 289 engine in it. Mm -hmm. I like that. Reminds me of Steve McQueen. Do you live in your <laughs> Here's well, the Thunderbird. Question is that? I was waiting for that one. Like there's a 50, old, coming up, there's that Mustang Pete was talking about. And then we have this oh, Ford yeah. Thunderbird. <laughs> look at that T-Bird. Isn't that beautiful? Old Ranchero. Ranchero. Second one today. And we got some more car groups like coming up behind them. You know, and that, yeah. That's great to have the car groups. I think so many people, I mean, it's the way we get around, right? I haven't seen, uh, we saw the one electric vehicle. Yes, hybrid. Yeah. This is a nice uh, Camaro, old SS Camaro. It's Price Motor Group, veteran owned and operated. This beautifully restored 67 Chevy Camaro SS can be seen along with a wide inventory of quality cars and trucks for sale at Price Motor Group, your hometown car dealership. How much? Well, they're asking how much is that doggy in the window? <laughs> well, how much is that hot rod on the street? Here's a here's a Camaro I can no, afford. Oh, it has no engine. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell by the way the front oh, ends up high. It has no engine. Yet. But it's a beautiful shell. You know, try to 
just go try to find one of those. Yeah, exactly. You can't. So. Oh. Yeah, the people, the crowd is awing at a doggy in the window. We're Truly just talking a doggy about in the window. <laughs> yeah, the window of a truck. He's putting his head out there and look pretty cute. And here's a the process. more. I wonder if Price I can just put that roof. Camaro in that's my driveway to look cool. <laughs> and that's a nice little FJ Cruiser right there, yeah. Toyota. Yep. And here we go with our next group. It's the Mile High Off-Road Prescott ATV it's Rentals. It's your reliable ATV source rentals. to go for you're all of your maintenance and upgrades from trucks, 4x4, side-by-sides. And Prescott side ATV side Rentals, the one and only side-by-side side rental company in the Quad City area. You want to go out and rent one of those things, you go see these folks. Yeah, Prescott ATV Rentals. I, I do, but it's nothing that looks this good. I sure like those Polaris's, those some, uh, Turbo uh, R. Yep. Those some are them nice. are side by side. Some of them are side by side by side by side. I mean, just four <laughs> people fit in there. Your neighbors in the Mountain Club <laughs> would hate you. An old Jeep, Jeep Willis. Willis. Yep. They probably want to ride with you. That's right. Four door Wrangler. You could rent all these vehicles. Bruce, it's pretty cool. Riding that King all right. Then we have our Ranger. next group. Good neighbor, see, he's got a good neighbor. Good Bruce Noyes, seen riding in a two-seater Polaris RZR Razor with a good neighbor, Scott Wilson, as his chauffeur for today. Bruce is 77 years young. He served in the U.S. Navy during Vietnam War. We thank him for his service. Oh, it's Larry Jacobs driving the ESGR <laughs> float. That's employer support for Guard and Reserve. They help get you get jobs when they come out of the service, and uh, they will let you. They, they took me on a ride in a. Okay, and it looks like wrapping up oh, the Prescott uh, Vet Set Corvette oh, Club. Corvette Club, a great way to wrap up the parade. Yeah, it's been formed by six Prescott women in 2000 uh, with the purpose hey, of enjoying their Corvettes, socializing, and donating to local nonprofits. The club has grown to over 150 members, Man. donating over $165,000 the past few years. Approximately half of their members are military veterans. That's nice, 150 members. That means they must have 150 Corvettes. Wow. Nice, nice, nice. Stingray. Oh, look at the 67 right there. Convertible. That is hot. All right. I want to ride, so come see us after the parade, would you? In fact, I'd like to drive that one right there. Thank you. Good job. They could drive us to Culver's so I get something to eat. That's right. <laughs> we got C1s all the way you know, up to C8s, it looks yeah, like, coming down the parade route. We finish it up. To, um, talk about. And yeah, you know, they say that a lot of these uh, example, Corvette owners are women yes. and veterans. Yes, yes. So that's fantastic. Some of them have historical parts. plates on them. Well, some of them down, are new enough to not require that. I think there's like a million dollars right in front of us here. <laughs> Certainly. Well, and you know, the new Corvettes now too, the most recent edition of the Corvette, when you buy one, you, they have to, you have to attend a driving school like ah. a friend of my sister's bought one she lived in texas they had to go to las vegas to oh the track wow. the track in las vegas to be shown how to drive the car i think it's kind of a liability thing. yeah it's a lot of power if you don't know what you're doing it is because they're basically race cars light it up don't just play and we also want to thank the city of prescott too Got a license plate on the back of that Corvette that says, For My Ego. For My Ego. Well, at least he's honest, right? Yeah. Or she's honest. <laughs> One of the two. Oh, yeah. There's just wonderful looking vehicles all through the years. No, it's the uh, it's classic American all these sports car. Fantastic. There's the newest version. Car. You'll see it wow. here in your picture shortly. <laughs> well, we it's gorgeous. Have our Prescott Motors open. That's fantastic. Looking good there, everybody Close. driving Corvettes. Love you too. Okay, Thank and you. this looks like that's Where the end of our parade route, our well, last well, entrance at Prescott Vet Set Corvette well, Club. And boy, we thank you, and we want to tell you that uh, all of our sponsors here today were uh, helping us, assisting us, and bringing the parade to you. And our KYCA sponsors include Yavapai County Food Bank, Yavapai Exceptional Industries, Greenlee Designer Services, Trailings of Prescott, Spirit West Certified Planning. Roxy Web Financial, Prescott True Value, also brought to you by oh, Lamerson's Jewelry, Ryan right Brothers Arizona, and Weikert Realtors CLA. 
Another and we're glad, we're glad that you joined us here for the 2023 Veterans Day Parade. We're proud to bring it to you here on KYCA. Thanks for tuning in on KYCA.info and our Facebook page, also on the City of Prescott website and on the City of Prescott Facebook page. Again, thank you for joining us for the 2023 Veterans Day Parade. We'll see you next year. We'll see you December 2nd for the Christmas Day Parade. Veterans Day Parade. Absolutely. Yeah, let's do it again next year.